Hi, I'm Jen from House One, and today I'm showing how I built a downdraft sanding station as a part of my ultimate mobile workbench project series. In part one of this video, I show how I created the shell of a 4x8 mobile workbench. In today's video, I'm showing how I added a built-in sanding station that has a cap to create more workspace when not in use. In the previous video, I installed a basic dust collection system inside my mobile workbench. And now above it, I'm installing a box with pegboard on top to allow sawdust to filter down and into an opening below where I'll attach a hose to my shop vac. To get started, I first marked the cutout on my work surface. Next, I set the depth of my circular saw blade and used a straight edge to guide my saw along the lines. I used a plunge cut to cut the back line and a handsaw to finish the cut at the corners. With my opening sized, I cut the sides of the box so that the edges will run half under the edges of the work surface to create a lip for the cutout to rest on when it's back in place as a cap. Using glue and screws, I assembled the box frame. Next, I marked the perimeter of the box on a scrap piece of quarter inch plywood. I sized the base with my table saw and then installed it with glue and nails. Now I could use my vacuum attachment to size the opening on the underside of the box. I used my drill to cut the ends of the opening and a jigsaw to remove the rest. I drilled the holes through the corners of the attachment and the box and dry fit the installation with bolts and nuts. Though it wasn't necessary, I decided to attach some scrap quarter inch plywood strips and angled wings inside the box to divert the sawdust to the port and lessen the open area inside the box to create more suction. I then added the support strips around the top to hold the inset pegboard. I then sealed all of my joints with caulk, including the hole around the underside of the box before permanently securing the back port. When sizing the pegboard, you want a tight fit so that the air doesn't leak out around the edges, but removable in case you lose suction or need to clean out the box. I made a few trims with my table saw and then dry fit the pegboard in place. Now it was time to install the box in my mobile workbench. To do this, I added some 2x4 supports along the side and back of the opening using pocket holes. I prepped the inside edges of the box with pilot holes and screws, and then positioned the box and sunk the screws into the supports and sidewall. Unfortunately, my hinge was hitting the box, so I had to remove the door to move the hinge down. While the doors were off, I attached the fittings to accept my back hose and tested out the suction. So this is sanding with the vacuum off. You can see the perimeter of sawdust. And this is sanding with the vacuum turned on, which produced almost no sawdust. Again, here's another example of sanding with the vacuum turned off and sanding with the vacuum turned on. With the doors back on, I can put the cap in place and conceal my new downdraft sanding table. To see the other customizations that I made to this workbench, including the power tool storage, easy DIY drawers, dust collection, and clamp rack. Visit the House One channel on thisoldhouse.com. I'm Jen Largis, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. This Old House has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button to make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.